Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and this amazing video. I am Aditya. In this video, we are gonna see a very interesting thing which is popping up a modal or opening a modal from the point where we click. So for instance, if I click on this button, my modal should pop up from the click point origin. If I click on somewhere in the corner of the screen, it should originate from here and then expand and come in the center or something like that. So let's see how to do that and let's begin without any further ado. Okay, to begin with, let's first create a modal. So I have here a width application, which is view 3 application in width. And now what I'm going to do is just create a file here in components or create a component here with modal.view and let's first write a modal. So this will be something like this. Here we will have the modal container and of course there are like various ways to write a modal. You can have your own modal uh, format. It could be a bootstrap modal or it could be a tailwind CSS modal. Anyhow, what matters is just that <laughs> you should have a modal and it should be put as position absolute. Okay, so let's see how to do further. Then now this modal container will be our that overlay you could say like a transparent overlay something like that so let's style it quickly so here i'm gonna say dot modal container and then i'm gonna say height of 100 views height width of 100 view width position now i want this modal irrespective of or this container irrespective of wherever it is placed it could be nested inside another component which is somewhere on the left side or whatnot i want this thing to appear exactly in on the entire screen and in the center of the screen so what i'm going to do is i will put this position as fixed i will say top as zero bottom sorry left as zero okay and then i will give it some background with rgba so that i can give it some opacity and I will say 0, 0, 0, which is black and then opacity of let's say 0.4. And now let's import this container, uh, modal container here and let's see how it looks. So I'm going to say import. So I'll do it an asynchronous import. You could do a uh, like direct import, that's fine. So first I will do define a sync component that's going to come from view. As I'm using setup uh, script, so I don't have to worry about those export default and all those stuff. So here I will have a modal. Now this will be define a sync component, then import, and then this will be something like this: the webpack chunk name. Oops, webpack chunk name, and this will be our modal, and then this will come from components modal. Perfect. Now let's put that modal anywhere we like. So here, I'll just put it over here, something like this. So modal and like this. Okay, let's see what we have on our home page. So you see there is a overlay, which is like slight, uh, like it's not slight, but actually you could see like a transparent overlay. Now let's put our modal in that overlay. Well, pretty simple. Here we just have to write div modal. So this will be our, you could say, the box that pops up. So I will just do here modal. Now I'll give it a width of 50%, height of 50%. It doesn't have to be a fixed height or width. You could give any height you like for the modal. That doesn't matter. But what matters now, it's just positioning. So what I'm going to do here is first, I will say left, sorry, position as absolute. So now this will be positioned absolutely with respect to this modal container okay after i have it positioned absolute then i will say left of 50 percent top of 50 percent and then i want it exactly in the center so i will say transform translate minus 50 percent minus 50 percent okay then once we have this translated in the center next thing we need to do is just give it a background so that we can see that we actually have a modal so background white okay now let's go back over here and see and there it is we have a modal which is exactly in the center so i won't write any content in this for now i'll just keep it like this okay now next thing we need to do is first render this modal like show and uh, like show 
true and false all those stuff so that's what we need to do so let's define a prop over here okay so i'm going to do a setup script again so let's remove this this and here i will say const props equal to define props now i'm taking show as a prop you could take it as a variable it doesn't matter what matters is we just need a variable to toggle that modal so i'll say show as boolean and i will just put it over here saying that we show equal to show so this modal will show if this props is true so next all i have to do here is go here and write show equal to false initially okay i could use with, defa with defaults if i'm using define props of setup script because i cannot default have a default value in define props there is a different way to have a default value for a props you need to use with default props something like that in setup script but for now i'll just put it over here like because it's just a uh, just to show an example so i'll just put it straight away from here i'll pass it from the component to the components as a prop so now we shouldn't see the modal so if i go back refresh the page anything that's a matter it, the, the modal is not there now next thing we need to do is for now let's first attach a click event to this button and based on that button we want that modal to appear from wherever my arrow is and then go back wherever it was it's pretty simple so on this button click i will write a function under it click trigger modal okay next in our setup script we just need to have something like function trigger modal now here we need to we want actually the event so event here which it refers to the whenever you click anywhere on your screen we want to know where it was clicked so in that case we need to know the event so what i'm going to do is i will just uh with this trigger modal i will pass dollar event which is a special variable in view which has those events and then i will catch that event over here okay now let's see if i do console.log e let's see what we get so if i go over here refresh and inspect and if i just so you'll see we have something over here which is a pointer event now this is what we want to take it forward now next thing we need is so let me show you the x and y coordinate of this so let's say i want to show e dot page x e dot page y now this will show me the x and y coordinate of my arrow wherever it was clicked okay so if i go back again over here and just remove it from here and click over here you'll see so the x coordinate is 678 so from this side somewhere here it's 678 and from the top somewhere here so from the top here it is 176 so this is what we want now we will pass these coordinates to our modal so let's take a position variable you could take anything you like i will put this as a reactive variable and then I will just say x for now will be 0 and y will be 0 and then whatever we get over here we just have to do position uh, dot x equal to e dot page x while the y coordinate will be e dot page y okay now we need to pass this position to our modal so our modal know where it where it should originate from so to do that simply Take a prop over here which could you could say position or coordinates anything you like i will say position again and now this prop will have the value of this position so i'll come and say position okay in the modal over here and we just need to take that prop so i will say position and then this will be a object because we are passing this or uh, having the value for this prop as an object so we are just declaring it as an object next thing we need to do here is write a watcher okay because we want to watch for the show whenever it is triggered or whenever it is not triggered okay so how to do that so i will go here again and watch for props 
dot show and then there will be a function which will work for this for this changed value so i will take it as a new value over here and let's import watch that will come from view so it is simple watcher nothing different and now based on the new value so suppose if the props was was false so the show was was false and then it becomes true so then we have to just start our modal from a position and take it back to this left 50 and top 50 okay so to do that let's take on our inside our home dot view let's assign another so this thing we will just uh, assign with a, another reactive value or a ref value okay so here i will say ref first import ref and then let's take another value here so const modal show equal to by default it will be false and once the modal is triggered we will say show dot value sorry modal show dot value equal to true okay then simply instead of writing here colon show false we will say modal show okay so let's go over here and put it like this and next thing we need to do here is now whenever this will change we just need to look for the position so what i'm going to do here is first i want to have something on this so i want like i want to get this modal so how i can get it well i can use the ref and then simply I can take a variable here, let's say const modal equal to ref of maybe blank or null for now. And then here, all I have to do is ref equal to the name of the variable I have assigned here, which is modal. Okay. So if I am writing modal here, my or the other way around, if my modal, so my variable name is modal, then inside this, on this div, if I'm having any ref, that name should match to the variable name okay so these two names this variable name and this name over here should be the same now we have the modal now let's assign the new position for that modal so i'm going to say modal that dot value dot style dot top equal to now the top will refer to the y-axis coordinate so i will say props dot position dot y and modal dot value dot style dot left now this will refer to the x coordinate props dot position dot x okay now next thing we need to do is just need to make sure that this modal originates from this point and then afterwards go to this point okay so what we need to do is currently we are having this all uh, modal as a modal class which is width 50 height 50 all those stuff so let's quickly copy these three stylings and put it in a separate class so, so let's say expand so it will be something like modal expand okay now this means whichever element which has a modal class and the expand class as well just apply these styling so what we are doing here simply is we will be just toggling an expand class on our modal so let's do that here so i will say set timeout i want to do it after a certain time because if i do it instantly that animation of modal coming from some origin to the center won't be visible so i have to do it with slight delay so all i have to do here is have a set timeout function maybe with half second difference and then here we just need to do modal dot value dot toggle class and then what class we need to toggle or actually class this dot toggle and we just need to toggle the the expand class over here so i'll just say toggle the expand class okay so now let's see what happens so if I save this, go back over here, quick refresh, you will see it was there and then it came in the center. So if I do a quick refresh again, there came in the center. Now it is going at the very uh, top side, like top left side, because we forgot one thing here, we should add pixel. 
because our position are mere numbers we need to give them in pixel so i will just add px and px so this should solve our problem so let's see how it works Quick refresh there it is Quick refresh again and it goes at the top so what we need to do here is to make it in the center just need to make sure that these are not important because what happens is when you assign a javascript style or styling through javascript the css styling applied later will be overridden so these stylings will get more uh, precision you could say or more priority so that's why we need, just need to add not important or exclamation importance showing them that these stylings are more important than any javascript styling or any other styling so let's quickly refresh this and see what happens there it is now how to make it look that it is coming from this point of origin because currently if you see if i refresh again it is coming like going to left and then right and all those stuff so how to make it work well a little trick here is what you have to do is remove the height and width from here and put it over here oops and here simply put height and width at zero okay zero pixel and zero per or zero percent zero pixel anything let's put zero pixel okay so the height and width initially was 0 0 and then just add a simple transition so i'll say transition all with a 0 0.25 second and that also easy in out now let's see the magic so if we go back again refresh there it is so if we go back again refresh there it is so it makes it feel like it has originated from that point now what we need to do is to make it more quicker let's reduce this timer let's do it 200 millisecond and let's try again there it is so we our modal has originated from the point we clicked now let's try to have it on somewhere where we click on this side or this side and let's see if it works well the logic is same we just need to trigger the modal with a click event on our div over here okay and let's remove the this button for now we will get back to this again and let's see how it looks so let's go back over here refresh no button clicked here nothing happens uh, click here okay so the home page needs to have full height and width so let's do like this style equal to width 100 view, uh, view width and height gight 100 view height just for now i'm purposely giving this styling so that i can click anywhere on the page for just testing because if i don't give it uh, it height and width it will only take the space whatever required for this h1 tag okay so let's refresh it again now it has full page height and width so let's click here so it came from here let's refresh let's try to click from here so it came from here and that's pretty simple so this is how you can have a modal popped up from a point of origin or a point of click oh sorry origin of point of click <laughs> you got what i want to say so that's all in this video hope you enjoy this video if you feel this video is worth a thumbs up please hit the like button if please if you feel this video is worth sharing please share with your network and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel so hope you like this video again till the next time goodbye